According to Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, carbon capture technology is vital to bring our Earth to net zero emission of carbon dioxide. In this context, bioenergy with carbon capture and storage technology is a strategic way to confront the global warming. By using this concept, CCS and fisher trawl process are deployed. Methane and carbon dioxide can be transformed into high-quality hydrocarbons or fuels by undergoing three stages. Oxycarbonation, metallic catalysis, cracking, and isomerization. Oxycarbonation is a process that adds high temperature steam and high pressure in a container. The methane gas will come from the biomass will react with the oxygen gas to produce the carbon monoxide gas and the hydrogen gas. For the synthesis gas of carbon dioxide, the water electrolysis could separate the water molecules to hydrogen atom and oxygen atom. Then, the carbon dioxide gas will react with the hydrogen gas to produce the methane gas and water molecules. And this is the generation methane gas process. After that, the methane gas produced will react with the oxygen gas to produce the carbon monoxide with hydrogen gas. The synthesis gas can bind to the metal catalyst to form wax like hydrocarbons by using nickel, plutonium, cobalt, and iron. During this process, the carbon monoxide will react with the hydrogen gas to produce the methanol, which is a type of liquid oil, in the moderate temperature and the optimal pressure. Methanol is typically safer, cheaper than gasoline. However, it has an energy density three times lower than gasoline, making it not as efficient as gasoline does. Thus, cracking and isomerization process is necessary. First, we crack the hydrocarbons into alkane, then modify it into octane or decan. After isomerization, the isomer can be used as the common fuel below. PCCS provides negative emission of carbon, the burnt biomass, which typically reduces carbon dioxide, methane, and so on other greenhouse gases are absorbed, stored, and transformed into useful liquid fuel. However, the compulsion of fuels generated from fissure truck process still emits carbon dioxide. Hence, we should use our creativity to recycle the carbon again and again into hydrocarbon. Anyway, BCCS is still not the final stage that we should reach towards carbon neutral in 2050. More conservation of forests, etc. should be taken into account. In conclusion, BCCS is absolutely one of the most potential technology to help Malaysia decarbonize especially in oil palm industry.